Well, I wasn't expecting to do a video today, but, well, seeing as Canon have graced us Mac users with a version of the EOS Webcam Utility Beta software for Mac, it's too good an opportunity to pass up. Now, what this means is, is that if you have a Canon camera and you download this software, you can use it as a webcam, which sounds great, but there are quite a few gotchas. Number one, when you get a hold of the software and install it, you're going to have to reboot your Mac. Now, this is something I came to the Mac to get away from, so it really it rubbed me up the wrong way to think, oh, I've got to reboot my Mac for a webcam driver, but it is a beta, so let's see how it goes. Oh, on that topic of it being a beta, it is a beta. And with beta software, expect things to go wrong. I know because it happened to me because after installing the software and doing a reboot and trying to plug in my USB camera you can't see up here, my Mac crashed. Yeah, just seemed to be a little bit co coincidental that after installing the software I was having problems. Now... If you've installed this and you've got it up and running and you think, oh, brilliant, it's going to work with all my software. No. Fancy using your webcam, your fancy Canon cameras of webcam in Safari? No. Want to use it in FaceTime? No. Skype? No. Zoom? No. WebEx? No. But there are a few ways you can work around this. For example, Canon actually say, go ahead and use Google Chrome. And if you go ahead and use Google Chrome, then you can use the web versions of Skype, Zoom and WebEx. So it's a bit of a workaround. It'll get the job done. They have provided quite a lot of information on their forum. And I'll put a link to a PDF document that says if you've got this operating system and you want to do this or you've got that operating system and you want to do something else, this is how to do it. Incidentally, if you do want to keep a hold of a desktop version of Skype, if you go and seek out the version 8.6.0.76, I believe it is, it runs fine. It will actually pick it up as a webcam driver. But let's get to the elephant in the room. As you can see from this video, this isn't a silky smooth 30 frames per second experience. Far from it. Now... When I was recording some video footage to try and edit together, I thought, right, I'm going to use QuickTime and go in there and just record something, quite merge it together. But QuickTime would only let me record at 640 by 480, uh, an alleged 30 frames per second, and I'll come back to that in a second. So firing up then the streamer's favourite, which is OBS, initially I could only get it to work at 960 by 540 but if you muck around with the preferences, you can get the output resolution, sorry, the viewing resolution, this is very key here, the viewing resolution, to go up to a whopping, a whopping 1024 by 576. Not good for video, not good for doing a YouTube video where you want to get HD, but it'll probably get you by in a meeting. But the real problem becomes when you look at the output video. Now, no matter what I've tried to tinker with, I'm only getting an output resolution of 864 by 480. So at the time I'm recording this bit before I'm editing, I've got no idea how I'm going to format it into a YouTube video and make it look, well, half decent because of the actual size of the thing. But worse than that, looking at the, I'm just looking at my monitor here, I'm not getting, this is no way 30 frames a second. Again, not important so much if you're on a webcam meeting or doing some sort of conference call, but I would have liked to have seen a true 30 frames a second, and I'm just hoping that my Canon M50 uh, is doing all the processing on that. I hope and pray it's got the internal guts after a few revisions to actually push down a true 30 frame experience. So, yeah, it's all right. It's webcam software. I mean, nobody really, I suppose, wants great HD small boxes like you see on streaming websites and all that sort of stuff. And it's functional enough. You've basically got to make sure that only one application is trying to access the video or you get this strange message that I'm about to put on screen now that will say switch off the camera and take out the battery and put the battery back in. Um, battery life, I don't know how it's affected because I've only just spent this morning playing with it. So 
I can't comment on that. Uh, and that's basically it. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet because of the quality. And if you haven't tuned out by now, I, I thank you very much. And on that point, if you've got any questions or any queries and you want me or you want me to try something on a Mac, the money running on an old Mac, uh, was it 20... 2012 Mac Mini, if you want me to try something or try some software, then leave a comment down below. I'm happy to try any ideas you might send my way. And I think that's all really I've got to say about it. It works. Just remember it's beta software. Remember you've got to reboot your Mac. Remember it's not going to work with FaceTime, Skype, Zoom and WebEx on uh, Mojave and Catalina. If you have an order OS, you might be all right. Give it a try. So, Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, then please click on the like button or maybe even the subscribe button. And as I say, any questions, or you want me to try something, leave a comment down below. And finally, a huge thank you to the couple of Patreon sponsors that I've got. You can see their names going across the screen now. And there we have it. That is a very quick review and video sample of the Canon EOS webcam utility beta software for Mac. Cheerio.